people with these key questions because we wanted, there have been hundreds of students who've come through this exhibit. It's been open a month. And it, to me, it's been very moving to see these school groups come through and to see the students. You can sometimes tell from the handwriting, the students' comments. Uh, but the, the students are so deeply engaged with this exhibit. And I was here when the first student group came through and the, uh, the woman from the museum sort of looked like she had tears and tear in a headlight when she saw the student group come in and the teacher said, that's all right, they know. And the students didn't even care. They just went zooming right in and loved every bit of it. So I think it shows this major transformation in American society. But we've also created an exhibit that even if there's a young kid who questions uh, LGBT equality, that he or she can have an engagement with it and emerge with new information, new ideas. And I think that's what's most powerful about speaking out for equality. So I want to thank you all for taking the time to come here. I particularly want to thank the pioneers, uh, you know, starting with Randy Wicker and somewhere and uh, and some of our more modern pioneers Evan Wilson who had the, you know these courageous visions to transform our world in such a short period of time 50 years uh, so we encourage you to please join us at 1230 in the main auditorium we're gonna have a presentation by a number of historians and some of these activists about those 50 years and how we got here uh, and uh, we hope that you can join us then thank you very much thanks again to the DMH fund Mark